Now, in the future, you might hear you might hear stories about things that I dream about, right? And usually, you'll hear either dream stories or true stories. This is a culmination of both. This is a mixture. This is another Memmi story. Ah, Halloween. Halloween. Young Davis, back before my brother was born. So this is a long time ago, right? I was four at most because my brother was born when I was four. I shared a room with my Uncle Jared, right? Uh, I've, up until recently, I have always had a roommate. And um, Uncle Jared, Uncle Jared was my first. Uh, so one Halloween, spooky Halloween night, my, uh, my parents, we're, we're a big October family, and we're a big Halloween family. And they wanted to go to a rockin' Halloween party. Um, 2000-something or other, that was before six. Um, and so they, they left me with Mammy. Um, and instead of doing our usual ritual, I just sort of, I sat on her couch and played Pac-Man on, I think it was an Atari or something, not the Pac-Man Atari. It was, it was, it was the good arcade version of Pac-Man on some old console. And then, uh, you know, after hours of playing Pac-Man, I got tired, I went to sleep. And we both slept in her massive bed, right? My dreams, I have, I have these weird story dreams, and I have normal dreams in where I, I like sleepwalk and sleep talk. If it's a normal dream, it affects my body. That's that is asleep, right? So, several times throughout the night, I would wake Memmy up and horrify her just in these awful ways because my dreams I'm not I'm not scared of a lot and my normal dreams are probably terrifying to lots of people um the first one however a little bit less terrifying uh I'm 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 in my room right I'm I'm dreaming that I'm in my room and I've woken up and I'm I'm all alone but I see someone next to me in the bed next to me and I walk over to the the bed and I I knock on their forehead knock 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 who's who's there Memmy in real life I've just I've just punched her head multiple times and she's like oh what is it buddy are you my uncle Jailwid I thought she was my uncle and uh no she's not my uncle She's not even my real aunt. She's just some lady who was watching me for Halloween, and I just I just smacked her awake, asked if she was my uncle, and she sent me she sent me back back into a a nice sleeping, relaxed state. In fact, she she falls back asleep. Right, a couple hours later. One, two. Three, she wakes up to to counting, right? Four, six, twenty-two. A, I'm just listing off random symbols of the English alphabet and whatever numbering system, whatever it's called, that is numbers, the numerical numer numbers and stuff. I. At first, it sounded like a completely normal counting, and it eventually I just started just random syllables of different numbers and letters came out of my mouth, like it wasn't twenty. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't even full numbers or letters. I could only I could only count to thirty at that time. Um, so it wasn't like two thousand forty a. Um, but. As I counted, or whatever, it got louder and louder and louder until eventually she she just could not sleep, and so she she moved out to the couch, and uh, she I think she fell asleep out there. 
no, no, she moved that to the couch and then I stopped and then she moved she 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 stayed in the room. Um so later, probably really early morning. It's this day after Halloween. Um sun's not up yet. She hears a scream. She hears a scream like a scre- like so if you took if you took something really sharp and held it in a wind tunnel and like swished it around a bunch, it was like that, but also super loud and high pitched. And she said that she legitimately thought that she had been stabbed and that someone was screaming over her, right? Um and she looked over, and I'm thrashing around in the bed. I'm thrashing, I'm screaming, and she's like, what's wrong, buddy, what's wrong? Uh, well, she's trying to wake me up. I can't wake up. I'm not waking up. Until I, all of a sudden, I jolt up. I sit up. I'm like, cockroach! Her biggest fear is, you guessed it, cockroaches. And she's, she's like, oh my god, where? She, uh, she's freaking out on the bed. There's there's a lot of thrashing from both of us now. I I'm like it's massive, it's huge, it's it's the size of a car tire. It's it's big. I, I, it it just crawled under the bed. Oh oh, it's it's right here. I I could see it. Uh, and so <laughs> she looks under the bed, and there is there's nothing. It's nothing. It was all just a dream. She'd woken up for nothing, and at this point she's just like, all right, I'm not getting back to sleep. That's it. And so, to this day, I tell, I tell one of my, I guess I'd call him my nephew, this story over and over again. He laughs every time. And I, I remember the cockroach vividly. Sometimes I have this cockroach dream, but now he's cool. Right? I, I've, na- I've even named him. You ready for his name? What's his name? His name is Memer. I named him after my aunt Memmy, and he just appears behind. He just appears next to my bed sometimes. I'm just like, oh, how you doing, Memmer? Memmer Franklin. <laughs>